again, I'm really glad you shared this acronym with me, because it works. Uh, e of the x is an exponential function, so it's in that e category. Sine of x is a trig function, so it's in the t. That means e to the x is going to be what? U. U. And then sine is going to be dv. dv. Cool. Setting up my table. Oops, that's a little bit too far over to the right. Set up my table. Plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, and so on. I have u. I've got dv. My u is e to the x. My dv is sine of x. If I take enough derivatives of e to the x, when am I going to get to a zero? Never. Never. What about if I take antiderivatives of sine of x, am I going to reach a, a zero at some point? No, it's going to go in like a four cycle. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take derivatives of e to the x until I get tired and my hand cramps up. As many as you want to write. You keep going if you want to. I'm going to take antiderivatives of sine of x, okay? Antiderivative of sine is negative cosine, and then I would end up with negative sine, and then I end up with positive cosine, and then I would end up with positive sine, okay? Once I end up with the first row again, notice this row is e to the x times sine of x, and the, the top row is e to the x and sine of x side by side then I can stop. That's the point where I'm okay with stopping. So I'm going to draw my snakes. So there's a snake. There's a snake. Do you see the e to the x sine x here on this row? Oh, this is going to be my special snake row. I got a little bit too excited earlier, but I could have terminated our little procedure a little bit earlier, two rows earlier. And again, since this is a flat snake and he's a special snake, we're going to take the antiderivative there. Which means, okay, my answer is going to be that negative e to the x cosine x plus, because two negatives make a positive, e to the x sine x. Now I'm going to write plus this purple flat snake antiderivative e to the x times negative sine x. And so the negative is going to come out here. It's the negative one constant. And so this would be my final answer, OK? I know it still has an antiderivative. But this antiderivative, e to the x sine x, is y. It's, my, it's the one I gave a name to. And so I can rewrite this equation as y equals negative e to the x cosine x plus e to the x sine x minus y, okay? But this is the trick that we're going to learn, is that eventually, wh whenever it comes down to like an e to the x times cosine or e to the x times sine, eventually you have to stop whenever you see the original antiderivative appear in your table. And that's when you define that as your, your variable. Yeah. That's when you we say that, you put the, when y you equals answer, you put the back. original thing, and then we say for this little term, y equals e to the x sine x. Yeah. So now that we have this equation, this thing is solvable. So I move this y to the left side of the equation. That becomes 2y equals negative e to the x cosine x plus e to the x sine x. And now to solve for y, remember, y is what I originally wanted to know, is what was this antiderivative. Now to solve for y, I say y equals 1 half times e to the x, and then you could write sine minus cosine to simplify that up. OK, so that's how Wolfram Alpha got their answer. That's how it works. Um, yes, even if the plus or minus sign doesn't match, still you can still you can still recognize the e to the x sine x, and even if you pick up a negative, it'll it still works like in this case. Good question. Okay, so 
Um, I still have a few more examples I want to do in terms of integration by parts. So we're going to pick that up tomorrow. In the last little bit of class, I want to give you guys a challenge. This is antiderivative e to the x sine x, right? Here is your challenge. Solve this without integration by parts. And instead, here's what I want you to think about and use. e to the power ix is equal to cosine x plus i times sine x. Sine of x is equal to e to the power ix minus e to the power negative ix divided by 2i and cosine of x is equal to e to the ix plus e to the negative ix divided by 2. So but with i's, you guys remember i, right? Our, our no, best no, friend, no. I? No. I don't like it. 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 I don't like it